Well, week four's upon us, and this is day one of the National Hunt. It's flying by this season. So let's start the little uh, show with having a look at how the top uh, National Hunt trainers have done and how the leaderboard's looking now. Okay, well, still at the top of the board is Joshua Sutherland um, on 19 wins, picking up six wins last week. But in second place now is Jim Murray with an incredible 10 wins last week over the National Hunt, moves him straight up into second position. That's followed by Paul at third now with 13 wins. He picked up four last week. And also John Morgan's moved up a little bit picking up four and coming in at fourth place alongside with Graham Clutterbuck who you know, just picked up a couple of wins so uh, that's the top rankings there obviously you've got Leon Darren Thunderspark Moilets and David Robertson making up the 10 so good luck to everybody on that this week I mean if Jim's uh, statement about the ground which is very similar this week to last week he'll probably pick up another hat for this week okay well back to the races for this week we're going to start off at Ascot where I'll be calling home in three races where I've got the United House Gold Cup chase over three miles and where the top weight there is going to be Drummond Bray for Jim Murray but also has a record of falling first and fallings if it's going in order he should come first again um, and then we've got Doug over at Wincanton where his big race of the day would be the Badgers Owl chase which is race seven where Carl Arrogante's winner of last week over the hunt, uh, which I think was his first winner of the hunt, gets to see if he can follow up after winning the Munster National last week. So good luck with that one, Carl. Then we'll be over to Bangor, where Martin's going to call a couple of races home from Bangor. And then we're over to Cheltenham, where Doug's going to pick up three races, where we've got three novice races um, that uh, I think race 10 is a two-mile grade two juvenile hurdle. And then race 11 is the Sharp Novices Hurdle, also a group two. And we finish up the day with the November Novices Chase, which is also due to group two where no less than four previous winners are going to go up against each other which is Arctic Dew of Thunderspark Hollywood Dew from Derek Hinton the perfect match from Joshua Sutherland and obviously last time out winner Summer Island for Jim Murray so good luck with all those I hope you get some winners this week and uh, hopefully I will speak to you all tomorrow thanks